Well, hey, hello, everybody. This is Randy, Mobile Traveler. Uh, I want to wait for a few minutes. I'm going to sit here in silence. People start getting on. Good evening. Well, hello, Jason. And I don't know if it's Laney or Rico, but hello, Freckles, how you doing? Backwoods, good evening. Uh, Jack. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Eileen. And Pam, John, hey, everybody, passing time. South Dakota Lease and Firecracker. I'm glad you Okay, all right. I, I missed a question up here. That smart. Hmm. Me being quiet, you're talking about? <laughs> hey, Terry. <laughs> Rudy, you're going to send a bounty, huh? Yeah, you know, I was, uh, I'm all right. Yeah, you'll find out here in a few minutes uh, why. You know, tonight is a cooking night, but it ain't going to happen. I have been, I've been traveling. I've been on the road. That's why you hell haven't heard from me. Uh, yeah, that's right. That's right, Eileen. That was an airplane. I think I'm parked the uh, flight path because the airport is just not too far away from me anyway I have been traveling and right now I am in Colorado Janice good evening Georgia treating you you know this is funny because I'm sitting here looking at this thing all I can see is my damn teeth it really kind of bothers me because I'm missing one from where Ace ate it. So, <laughs> it kind of looks funny. Anyway, uh, you, you know what? Like I say, tonight's supposed to be a cooking night. But, the uh, refrigerator, there is no food in the pantry. So, Marilyn and Monroe. Yeah, you figured I was traveling, huh? You take my teeth out? No way. Uh, good deal, Laney. You made it. I thought you wasn't going to New Mexico. I was just going down and uh, passing time. Hey. Okay, people. Ashes in April. Good evening. Uh, this is what I'm do. See how much battery I got. Because she was about dead before. I'll have to leave it on here for a while. Uh, yeah, so I'm in Colorado right now. And I've been traveling for, well, since, what, Friday, Saturday, I can't remember. But, yet, to, yet no cooking tonight, Rudy. Like I said, I since I've been traveling, I got no food in the pantry. But GPS signal lost. Did you guys hear that? Said my GPS just was lost. Oh well, I guess I'm gonna get lost then. Anyway, uh, <laughs> little Caesars. Nah, it'll probably be PB and J there, Rudy. That's okay. I, uh, <laughs> it's funny because, uh, yeah, Mike, I am. Uh, very close, very close, Mike. Um, well, hell, this is what I'm going to do. I am going to unplug you, and I'm going to stick you in my pocket. Because that's the only way you guys are going to get your eyes closed. Okay? Because I know you'll cheat. So, all right, I'll be right back. Better hope there ain't no uh, hole in that pocket.
<laughs> you see what I'm inside? Right? Uh, <laughs> this is an old vintage 1965 Red Dale camper. And this is going to be refurbished. I'm going to bring this thing back to life. The bones are excellent in it. Uh, I'm going to have to do a few things to it. Uh, there's no leaks. So, I'm going to show you the outside real quick, if I can. Let me back up. Uh, kind of see that. Let me see where I'm pointing at. That'd be the front. This is going to look, it's going to be amazing. You all see that? All righty. I'm going to go plug you back in real quick. And then I will field questions. Oh, this is quite a, uh, quite a chore. GPS signal lost. Oh, this darn phone needs to shut up. Okay. We are plugged in again. Uh, and it's working. Okay, I'm going to back up a little bit so I can see some questions. Uh, yeah, Mike, the pockets, uh, yeah, there's no holes in the pocket. Uh, okay. Uh, well, what do you think? Um, the the trailer that thing, okay and you know I'm not going to admit defeat but that would have been a lot a lot of work so uh this was my second option uh, these people are subscribers of mine they actually sent me a text on my day and said happy birthday and they sent pictures with this camper so i've known about hey patricia uh but i was on the fence i really really wanted to build that that other trailer out <coughs> Uh, the subscribers gifted it to me for my birthday. And like I said, that is a 1965 Reddale. And it's really in pretty good shape for the years. The frame is great. The, uh, the framing on the outside is great, or the inside of the house. I've already tore apart a few walls to look at them. And it's going to need, it's going to need a makeover. So, yes, Ron, that is going to be the new traveling, the mobile traveler mobile. Uh, that's right, Mike. That other one was uh, probably about 1,000 pounds heavier, that other trailer. Uh Thank you, Dana. It is pretty cool. Um, let's see. Thanks, Lisa. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna take this thing and I'm gonna give it a new lock. That's what I'm gonna do to it. Uh, I like taking things that are old and just bringing them back. You know, not repurposing it. I'm just making it to what it was back in, you know, 50 years ago. Neil, my friend, 
I am going to do that build right here before I leave. Because that's what I'm leaving with. Uh, my friends here are nice enough to allow me to leave this camper here. Uh, well, thanks, you, thanks, Renegade Ramblin' Van. Uh, that, it, it is, it's a year younger than me, Lisa. Yep. But, so I'm going to do most of the build sitting right here because I'm going to have to live in it. Hey, Tumbleweed, Stephanie, thank you. Uh, and they're allowing me to, to, it's sitting right here by the house. Got electricity, water, there's a dump station. And... And I'm going to take you guys and I'm going to show you what I do. Who knows? I might even go live a few times. Uh, and I am going to take some of the things out of the camper that, you know, was my son's. And I'm going to incorporate it into this old camper. Uh, all right. Thanks, Lisa. Bye. Uh, yes, I did show a picture of it. Patricia, how about if I just do that and you guys can kind of see it you can't see me though how's that look there <laughs> i guess the camper looks better than this old mug anyway uh it's kind of dark though i better spin it around just a little bit there now it's too bright anyway there we go living for the moment hey patricia how are you all right, <laughs> Trisha stuff. Thank you. Laughing like that. I don't know whether to take that as a compliment or a or a dig. Um, I just got to figure out what color to make them stripes on the side, people. I'm kind of tore. I'm thinking teal. I love that color teal. Light green. Or the purple that I have on the side of this camper. That purple was my son's favorite color. And I'm leaning towards that one. So. Uh, yeah. That Patricia was that purple. Uh, I can't remember what the hell they called it. But. I've got some so. Yeah. Uh, no. Well. Um, teal, purple, red, what? I suppose I could just make them all three different colors, but I was kind of thinking of one. Hey, Dan, you, uh, you didn't see the picture that I drew on the side. Oh, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to take you guys out. I got to show Dan this picture of the eagle. Y'all probably, I don't know if you remember it. Dan was my best friend for years in college. Uh, yeah, yeah, we were like brothers. Anyway, what do you think of this there, Patriot Dan? You see that? That's the eagle. And I think I'm going to paint that on the side again instead of red, white, and blue on the stripes because, to tell you the truth, I think that, that eagle is kick-ass. Excuse my language, but... I love it. <clears throat> so that that's what I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do there. Um and I missed probably some things here, so here. Fade from front to back. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, tumbleweed, easy way out. Uh yes, Patricia, that camper right behind. Yep. <clears throat> I suppose that's right, Dan. We are, even though we're not in touch. Um, you know, Neil, if you're in the area, I'd love to see you. You know, I like your, uh, 
I like the way you work, buddy. Uh, burnt orange. You know, that's not terrible. Uh, I agree with you, Mike. I like them eagles. I'll, I'll, I'm going to go with the eagle on the side. Now, on the back of it, that's where I'm going to put most of the artwork. I am going to leave uh, the sides pretty much plain. Uh, but the back, when somebody's following me, I, I like to give them something to look at. So they're going to be full of cartoons. Can't forget that uh, fantastic pickle, you know. Uh, or the cactus on the back. I have not heard anything, Marilyn Monroe. I haven't. Uh, let's see to Kathy. Hello. Uh, I believe that this is, it's going to be a much better camper. Yes. Um, Melody Johnson. Good evening. Um, let's see. All right. Passing time. It's a 1965 Red Dale. Uh, I, there's actually one on YouTube that's similar to it. Uh, I think it's a little newer though. I think that's like a 1972, but it's similar. So if you get on there and you just type up Red Dale Campers, it'll pop up and you'll see kind of what I'm thinking about doing. Uh, so Kathy, Casita Kathy, how have you been? I know you've popped on here a few times, but I haven't really got a chance to say hello. Um, when do I take possession? Now. I started working in there already. Hey, Claudia, hello. Good evening. Um, Marilyn Monroe, it is 14 foot. So it's the same size as the truck camper. And the pickup is going to have no problem None whatsoever. <laughs> oh, Mike. <laughs> you know, that's right. You're funny, boy. Yes, I already showed the inside. Just a little bit of it. But my battery's going dead. So I had to plug it in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this plugged in for a little bit. And maybe I'll show uh, the inside here in just a little bit again. I tried to get it charged up beforehand, but it didn't work, you know. So give me about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes and the battery should be good to take off. Oh, uh, let's see. Ron says go with purple stripes and eagle on each side. Kind of what I'm thinking. Kind of what I'm thinking, Ron. Yeah. I don't know why people. Uh. What? Sorry. Anyways. <coughs> I. I missed some. So. You guys are crazy here. Oh. Uh, hey, Game Pro Star. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Uh, I am Southwest. I'm in uh, Montrose, Colorado, Neil. That's where I'm at. Uh, Backwoods, I never did change the O2 sensors. If you remember right, they go on the, uh, on the muffler, and the tailpipe. My son took them off. So, of course, they're going to read bad because they're not even there. So I, I didn't, uh, didn't put the muffler and stuff back there. So, uh, I will check it out, Patricia. I will. Uh, and Lynn, the issue with the lights, that was just the tail lights, and it is coming from the truck itself, not the camper. So, no worries, back with he can't be hanging out outside because it is extremely muddy. 
extremely. Hey, Lane, how you doing? Cool. Yes, I will. I'll send you a text there, Lane, and then you'll have my number, buddy. Uh, I met Lane in uh, Colorado Springs. Nice young man. Hung out there for the evening before I came up here. And he is a schoolie and really a nice build. Really, really a nice build. Um, I'm not sure how long this is going to take. I am hoping no longer in two weeks. And it'll, it's going to look nice. It'll be very livable. Uh, what, Lane, over here, you see right off to the side, right there, that's the camper. That's the new camper I'm getting. Dana. Uh, yes. Yep. These people are wonderful people. Good friends. I am so glad that uh, Kevin introduced me to them. Very glad. You know, that's one thing. You meet a lot of good people out here. Uh, <laughs> and these people are just. Um, no, Miss Linda, the cattle hauler is going to be put on hold. Uh, that is quite the undertaking. So. Heavy weedy garden. Hey, how you doing? Yes, I was, I was MIA for a little bit because I was traveling. I will. I will tell them, Kathy. And you've seen the camper, so you know which one it is, right? Um, now, I'm not saying that that other build isn't going to happen. Hey, Dan, I appreciate it, buddy. Yes. Yeah, give me a call, brother. We'll talk. Uh, break down our act. Oh, wow. You know, <laughs> uh, God dang it. I can't remember that name. I know it too. So no, I guess I don't know who it is. It's probably one of my sons. Yeah. Hint, I'm your son. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I like that hint. Tom, your son. Funny, funny. Uh, Bolton. Uh, Seal Marine live on YouTube from Iraq. Have a good day. Well, you. You have a good day, too, there, buddy. I am going to try the computer tonight, Trevor. When I got down here, they have uh, Wi-Fi, so they're going to hook me up to it. And I will call you and let you know how it works out. Uh, my son, Trevor. <laughs> Amazing kid. He's the one that blessed me with my first grandchild. And Chad, he's going to bless me with my second. And they're both granddaughters. Oh, well, I'm in trouble now. Uh, now, he took the laptop and he, uh, he fixes computers, telephones. And he, uh, he fixed me up a laptop, put a bunch of stuff on there that I have no idea how it is but it's going to work great I, I just know it T I know it thank you so very much and the phone I'm still trying to figure it out I keep putting but pushing buttons and trying to find out what I had before but you know I'll figure it out I am challenged when it comes to computers and things I guess 
Okay, Nana's Joy, am I going to get rid of the truck camper? Uh, no, not right now. now. I'm going to keep that truck camper. It was my son's. And what I'm thinking about doing, well, I'm going to keep it here for now. Oh, you didn't, yeah, well, I'll take you into the camper in a little bit there, T. I'm just letting the phone charge up. If you can hang on for a little bit longer. Uh... Yes, thank you, Bolton Bolton, for your service, buddy. I definitely appreciate it. Uh, even, you know, I was Navy. I got all bad respect for everybody else. Marines also. Uh, you know, Rudy, you're going to get one of these days as soon as I get that computer working. How's that sound, buddy? Yeah. Hey, Penny. Well, good to see you woke up. Um, <laughs> so, you know, I tell you what, I know that was kind of a, kind of a bombshell with that cattle trailer. And like I said, I really, I was looking forward to it, but like I say, there were some title issues with it. Um, and Julie was a little bit worried about it. So, this is just the way to go. Uh, so, Miss Linda, how is your Class B working out for you? I was thinking about that today. Well, I'm going to have to shave this scruff off. I got I got two people. I'm not going to be able to be Santa Claus this year because I just can't handle it. Looking too old. Uh, I appreciate it there, uh, Pro Star. That's what we're going to call you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that in the middle. Uh, oh, it's in the tune-up. All right, tune-up time. Cool. Got to do that. Uh, so I got to ask you, Game Pro Star, did you watch the Icky Sticky Bucket song? I tell you, that's going to be the next song out there. Yeah, it's going to be a hit. I, Sandy, I haven't heard anything yet. Uh, I have not been able to get on my YouTube studio because I can't remember my password. That's how it happens when I uh, change the phone. But I'll get it. I'll get her figured out, and then I'll be able to get into my emails and things like that because, heck, they might have sent me an email. Who knows? Oh, I got fingers crossed, toes crossed, you name it. Uh. <laughs> yeah, you'll get a you'll get a kick out of that one, Game Pro Star. Uh, I'm I'm trying to get to 25 percent, so I can take you back over there and show you a little bit more of that camper. One thing I did figure out is there's no insulation in a 1965 camper. So, by the time I get done with it, there will be, though. Be able to keep me warm in the winter and cool in the summertime. Yeah, I'm sitting here looking at it right now. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Good evening. Um, let's see, what am I at? Okay. Y'all ready? I'm going to take you back over there for a few minutes. And we'll see what we got. Oh. Ooh, spottier than heck right now. Okay, here's the side of it. The glass is all intact. Uh, you see the stripes I was talking about. I keep getting text messages on my phone. You guys hear that too? People don't realize that I use my phone as a camera. Uh, let's go back inside real quick. I'm not going to worry about it. 
other side. Okay. This is what we got to work with here, people. Uh, it's got cupboards. I'm going to take and replace. This is an ice box. And there's just enough room for me to bring my son's refrigerator and stove. So that's going to get in here. Behind me, more cupboards. I have to do all this building out because there's no benches in here, no table. The uh, carpet's coming out. Uh, there was some water damage, as you can see right here. I ripped this out already. I already started tearing it apart. And that's how I could tell. Look at that insulation. It's not even a not even a quarter of an inch. Uh, and over here, there's a little water damage up here too. But I'm just gonna rip all these walls off and I'm gonna put insulation in there. And take all this carpet out, of course. And we're good. Back here in the back is going to be the bed area. I'm going to build a couch with storage up underneath of it. And it's going to, it'll be, it'll be all right. It'll be cool. And I don't know what I'm going to do with this closet area yet. I might just take it out, make it smaller, you know, go from there. Uh, oh, that's not a bad idea there, Trisha. Uh, lap sealant. That good idea there, Lane. Yeah. Hey, Rosa. So, oh, and it has the. It's got a sink up underneath there. Y'all can see that. So, there's the bones. The floor is solid. I've jumped up and down in it. I've climbed up underneath of it. Hey, BVD. <laughs> yeah it probably does Dan darn it you always got a one okay I'm going to plug it in you guys are amazed by when I get done with this I'm going to make it look brand new hopefully it won't take me too long but I have nothing but time uh, a weedy garden is 14 foot. Um, well, okay, mine's two years older. Yep, 14 foot box, 17 foot with a tongue. Um, well, let's see. Trying to read, read, read here what I missed. Uh, Marilyn Monroe, the bed will be in the back. Uh, like I said, I'll, I'm going to make a a uh, a couch. But I'm going to make it a slide out couch. So it'll be able to fold down into a bed. And that way I'll have storage and everything there. I'll make it just like I, you know doing a uh a van build you know when i'm building a bed in the van you got your couch and then you fold it out of bed so i'm going to build it the same way and i believe that i'm going to keep it the wood color wood looking that way it'll look like a little cabin on the inside it, yeah dan it does it's it's solid it is solid. Um, that that's what I think I'm gonna do. Um, you know, weedy garden. That's that's true, but you know, I still have the clam. I cook outside most time anyway. So when I get her done, we'll be golden. That's the bad thing there, Sandy. There is no restroom. None. So that's. I'm trying to figure out if there's a way I can put one in there. And I have some ideas, but 
we'll have to go from there. Uh, you know, Dana, I'm going to use Flex Seal. Uh, I think around the edges is what I'm going to do. That's where the leak is. It's not coming from the roof. It's just the edges. So I'll just take Flex Seal, go around the edge, and I'll sand her smooth. And uh, that way it'll be able to get into the cracks. And it won't look too gaudy. Uh, Lane, I'm starting to build in the morning. I started to tear out already tonight, so but uh that's I'll be heading into town and you know. So yeah. Yes, passing time, you're right. Thank you, Rosa. I'm gonna try to. Yeah, tumbleweed, that's what I'm gonna do. The flex seal is gonna be on the gutter seams. Yep. Well hey, Marsha. Hopefully it won't take too long. That's what I th I was thinking there, Melody. On one side of the closet, I'll just use one side of the closet, and I'll take and make a bathroom on the other side. I do have a porta potty there. Long lost road trip, so I use that anyway. Uh. Okay. Sandy, he says I definitely want one of those clams. But you could add something. What could I add? <laughs> Actually, tumbleweed. I have two porta potties, so I uh, I think we're good. Uh, all right, Neil. That sounds good. That sounds good. We'll just keep in touch. Uh, outside, hello. On the other side of the state, Miss Linda, Montrose. Uh, good idea, Dan, good idea. Good idea. I never knew that there, Nomadic Pioneer. What if a person, instead of flex seal, what if they used a bed liner that you use in the back of a, you know, pickup? And yeah, Sandy, outside showers are, are easy to, to, to figure out. I'm a little modest. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Hey, Lisa. Uh, let's see. Be your home from, stay from home. Yeah, you're right. You're right, Pro Star. You're right. Camper goer one. Hey. And yes, Marilyn Monroe. I don't know if I will put solar on top, or if I'll use the suitcase type. I'm thinking on top, but I don't know. Outside, you see that right there? Right there? Not the van, but the camper. That's what I got. Miss Carolyn, good evening. Uh, it's a, uh, I guess you could say that's a, that's 1965's idea of a casita. It's about the same size as one of them. So that'll work. Get camper goer one. That's what I'm picking up right there. I'm working on it right here as I sit. Uh, yeah, Dan, that's exactly right. That is the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make that thing watertight. You know what they say. <laughs> I'm not going to repeat it. I don't know if bed liner, does bed liner come in white, John? Is it, uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't wait to see that, 
there, Carolyn. Uh, Henry's 887 is a good sealer, huh, Teardrop? Uh, all right, Lane. I'll text you later, buddy. Thanks for joining me. Uh, well, you know what there, Lulu? I already showed it twice. You're late to the party, girl. You'll have to uh, go back because my battery's like dying. Um, uh, Marilyn Monroe, I have not seen it yet. I Like I said, I've been traveling, so I, I haven't been able to watch anything. Uh, oh, yeah, you better get to sleep there, Game Pro Star. One ten in the morning there, buddy. All right, good night. Thanks for stopping, bud. Uh, Nomadic Pioneer, I did. I did. I just found that phone. I've been looking for it for three days, and I, I got your text. <laughs> All right, Mike, I, I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm coughing here. Oh. Oh. Let's see. <laughs> Dr. Pepper float. Cool. All right. Yeah, I cannot wait to see Carolyn's puppy dog. I knew in time, not it wasn't going to take too long. The way she took the ace and the old farmer's wife's dog, I forgot that name. Yeah, I'm bad with it. She is an animal lover. I'll tell you what. And her dog's been very, very lucky. Yes, I do there, Pioneer. Thank you. Uh, yeah, and, and, oh, you know what? That's the other thing, Lorian. Uh, there is going to be more videos to come. Uh, and I apologize that there haven't been. But like I said, when I'm sitting docile in one place, and I've already showed everything I could show, I don't want to bore you. So I'd rather talk to you. And maybe that's kind of boring you too every now and then, but. Uh, so yeah, I, I went live quite a bit there and it wasn't just to get on minutes up either. It was just, yeah, I'm bored sometimes. I, uh, <laughs> I'm a people person. So, all right, Patricia, we'll talk to you later. Uh, all right, Neil, I will. I'll holler at you, buddy. You know, I just, I, yeah, I just like talking. And sometimes I don't say much anything, but I like talking. I wish these things were a little more interactive, though. Because when you type, hell, I could just hear what you say. You know, so and that's kind of cool. But, you know, I do got this phone here. You guys can call me on it. You remember here about two weeks ago? Called back. And it was the wrong number. Yes, you leave it on. All right, All right buddy. Yes, passing time. Ace is inside. It's muddier than heck. So I'm not letting him frolic. Uh. No, the, the uh, it didn't get cut off. This one here was a prepaid one. And I think there's like 18 hours left. I can still talk on it. Hey, hey all right. All right, Linda. That's right. Grizzly Adams, it's, it's coming off tonight. <coughs> uh, 
Um, Patricia, it's on the video where I had gotten uh, 400 subs. And I want to say it's probably, it's about the middle of June I did the video. And it was just a big thank you video is all. And I gave out my number. So. Um, oh, let's see, let's see. But it is better to to call it because <laughs> it takes me forever to text back. Cause it's one of them things where you got to hit uh you got to hit the buttons like three times you got to hit the button th you know letter three you ding, 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 f anyway uh, so i'll tell it to you it's uh 605-222-9496 and that's the number to the to that phone Ooh, now you're gonna have to play back the video, aren't you? <laughs> anyway, uh, not much else to talk about here. Uh, do, do, do. Oh, let's see who's calling. Hello, this is him. Well, you know I'm live, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, there you go. Well, you see, people, I'm talking to Jimmy C right now. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. All right. Well, yeah. All right, give me give me a call later, there, Jimmy. All right, thanks. See that wasn't that hard, people. <laughs> yep. Anyway, kind of funny. Hey, no mad, yes, happy. How we doing tonight? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would have talked longer to Jimmy, but I'm talking to y'all too. You know, if I knew how to put this thing on speakerphone, I'd have just put him on speaker. Heck, what the heck? All right. Diamond, how you doing? Didn't see you here. You're Sandy, that was Jimmy C. Yeah. Uh, all right, Mike. We'll talk to you later, buddy. Service geese are out. <laughs> we'll see you in a bit. Um, you know, people, I think we're going to have to, uh, I'm going to have to call it quits tonight. I think I'm going to get stuck in the rain if I don't. Anyway, I will put more videos out on the regular. I don't have a schedule, but I still will be doing my live Saturday nights. And I will start doing the uh, cooking, you know. And who knows why? I got I got a few more things in my up my sleeve. <laughs> I appreciate it, Jimmy. I appreciate it, LB. <laughs> yeah, long time. Yeah. All right. Hey. Drive safe, people. Wherever you're going, travel on. And you know what? Just love one another. That's all you can do. Uh, yeah, that's right there, Nomad. But I will. Yeah, that's right. What sleeves? Yeah, they're half sleeves. I will be getting them out more on the regular. And I think you guys are going to like what I do to this camper. And like I say, I, I got some things going on. You're going to like that, too. I'm living outside the box, people. So, come with me. 
All righty. Have a good evening.